All right, guys, welcome back to some more mist. I know it's been a minute since I said that, and I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to say it, but I've just been waiting for the right time. Usually when there's been like an update release, I wait like a day or maybe two, just in case there's like a hot fix for anything that's massively broken. But this isn't officially the start of a new series yet because we're on the test branch today where we can take a look at a lot of the new shiny things that have been added to the game. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Now, with that... <laughs> Because it is a test branch, there's probably going to be a lot of things for the majority of this that are going to be massively broken. So we're just going to... Ooh, that's new. <laughs> there it is already. I'm already getting excited over new buildings. But yeah, just a quick heads up. There's probably going to be a lot that we run into that is not working, that's broken. Things are all over the place. One of which is like the, the mouse calibration. It's all over the show at the moment. So if you see me messing with stuff, you know why. But yeah, I thought we'd just jump in, explore around like we usually do, and see what's new. So, let's have a look. We got ourselves a knife, an apple, and a bandage, which I believe things have been worked on with this. I've got some notes. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Doesn't this... Ah, there we go. So, you hold things above your head now. Scroll for object distance, left mouse to throw item. Right, let's do that. Okay, so, <laughs> there's nothing new there. I wonder if you can... What's going on with that? <laughs> Please, don't break straight away. We at least want to see what's going on. I wonder if you can use this to throw stuff at the infected. So, like that, just to buy you a little bit of time. That would be really nice. I don't know why it feels like it's on ice at the minute, but again, test branch. But yeah, so we got everything out of there, and we're good. Okay, so let's keep it moving then. But I do have a lot of, like, notes on the side. Some I didn't look at because I do want to discover a lot of this with you guys. Like, discover it for the very first time. Ooh. So can we use this now to, like, just put stuff in the back of? In this apocalyptic world, can we just take our cart with us? I like the idea of that. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't this used for... Yeah, logs and NPCs. So it would be nice if you could just put things in there and just use it to... To pull it along. We want to go and have a look at that house over there? Yeah, I think we should. Actually, first things first. Let me make sure that is on there, just so we've got at least something. But it feels nice being back in this place it really does i know a lot of you guys have missed this and i've had a lot of messages recently for me to take a look at it again but like i was saying i generally just leave it like a day or two just in case there's like any hot fixes or any patches for anything that's massively broken i do like the look of this this old style shack anything that has war wounds in this kind of scenario i love it stuff like this i really think it adds a lot of character to it and i think it's needed when it's super polished, unless it's like really recent after the uh, the events that have unfolded, then it, it doesn't really make sense. Ooh, okay, that's a great find. Loot all. There we go. Very rarely use this. I should do more, and we've pretty much run out of space. So we've got their hunting arrow, carbon hunting arrow, 256 scope. Ooh, did I miss something in terms of weapons that have been added? Or is it just a rename of that? You can't go through this stuff yet. I don't think I'm going to go through everything, but seeing as though the test branch might be out for like a couple of weeks, maybe we can pace ourselves with everything, like slowly go through sectors because, ooh, I didn't know it was made so you could go in here. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. So if I'm not mistaken, I have a note here that says new vehicle rework, which introduces the ability to tow things. Now... I don't know if it means these, or if there's like a trailer or something, because I know I've seen that before. No, wait. No, it does mean this. Look, hitching. <gasps> so we can do that now. Oh, that's so good. I thought that was way off in the future that we could do that. So, wait, we can technically live on the road now. Oh, I'm so happy about that. You guys have no idea. I love the idea of that, like just living out on the road, moving from place to place, finding a quiet spot, setting up camp. Throwing down a campfire away from any prying eyes. Whoa. I do remember this wall. But I don't remember that being open. Or was it always open? I don't know. I know with the vehicles that it's been changed so you can pretty much fix up the majority of cars that you can find. Now, maybe that's not one of them. Maybe some of them are just too far gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, I think that's for scrap, right? We can break that down for scrap. But yeah, I do know a lot of the uh, the vehicles that you can find now, you can fix up. So it's not just one or two versions of the vehicle like we've we've basically experienced. 
But yeah, there's going to be a lot in this that we're going to be discovering for the first time. That towing thing or the hitching thing back there, that's already blown my mind. I can imagine it's, it's probably going to be a little bit jank at first, being attached to like the uh, the pickup truck. It's going to be wobbling all over the show. Oh, could you guys imagine if you get all that? You put the uh, the trailer on the back of the pickup truck and then it just fires up into the atmosphere. Oh no, I've said it now. Oh, here we go. So this is a vehicle that can be fixed up then. Look at that. Old fixer-upper. Super beaten up. And I love this. Oh, so you have to like put the... Oh, yes. So you have to put all the components in there now. I wonder if they're going to be like hard to find. I hope so. And I think there's been a rework to the fuel as well. I remember seeing something about a, uh, a propane tank. That you can find and use that to, to collect fuel. Look at this little thing. What? What is that? That's like a little Cinquecento or whatever they're called. That's so cool looking. Oh, I think we have to rock this. 1.56. Is that how much it can hold? Yeah, I think that's like the max capacity of it. Is this guy? Oh, yes as well. What? Wait, let's equip those. And yeah, we'll grab that. I don't think I can take... Maybe I can make some... Let me get rid of you and then put you in there. I can maybe make a Molotov with that. Can we stack that? No, that makes me sad. All right, got to find a backpack then. But yeah, again, this is just looking around today. So I'm not too worried about finding stuff if I miss anything. Look at this. I love that. I'm absolutely going to be fixing one of these up. All right, let's take a look in a shop. So flashlight on. So far, though, it says pretty much everywhere. Like, warning, performance might be terrible and stuff and... I think there's ways to alleviate that if you go through the settings. I'm playing everything on high right now. Like, there's nothing that I've turned down. I think we can go one higher on Epic, but I thought it'd be safe just to stay on this. Ooh. Can I open this stuff now? Wait, could we always do that? Pick up salt. Carry salt. Wait, no. Is that just... Wait, coins? We can use things out of the vending machines now? Okay, hold on. I need to test that. Let's... I think I just put my gas mask on. Let me just eat this. Wait, I can eat that with my gas mask. Okay, that's testing. I meant to do that. Just so we know. Right, let's take this off. We can pick up the ketchup as well. So is there going to be more recipes and things for food? I had no idea. All right. Please, nothing pop out at me here. We're just exploring. I know he's been messing around with <laughs> a lot of the, uh, the infected. There's actually a massive rework going on. In terms of the animation and behavior of them, which just sounds horrific. Like it truly does. I'm hoping that there's no horrible surprises, but there more than likely is. Okay, here we go. Vending machine, right? Let's turn that off. What's flashing? Oh, it's actually the vending machine. So it's like the electricity to it. Ooh! We smack it and then we get a soda pop. A candy bar there. You know what? How's my food doing? Uh, we're fine. Wait, what is this business? Meat? Oh, so there's different nutrients and stuff now. Proteins and things. Meat, veggie, thirst, fatigue, boredom. Wait, what? So if we just stick around the base, just literally lock behind safe doors, will we get bored or something? Do we actively need to go out and adventure? I love that too, but <laughs> I don't know about a boredom meter. I don't know how that's going to go down. Oh, propane bottle. I definitely need to... Wait, so these are one in the same then? There are no lights that we can turn on. No, I don't think so. Oh, so we can't actually store this in our inventory. We've got to actually pick it up. Right, so let me put you outside here. And if I throw this, will it explode? Go. Oh my God, we've got a hell of an arm on us. Nope. Ooh, there we go. We found a revolver. Nice. Okay, we'll put you in there. Put the revolver on slot number three. Has anything changed with this? I used to love this. Actually, let's break this down. So this is just going to give us wood, right? I assume it is. Maybe a little bit of scrap too. No, just the planks. Okay, good to know. I don't know how I feel about the uh, the icon for breaking things. I hope I can turn that off. Yeah, this stuff. I mean, it's good to have, but especially if you're new to the game, but it'd be nice to be able to disable that as well. Shotgun rounds. I mean, priorities, right, guys? Let's, let's just eat this. There's always time for a little snack. I do like what they've done with this too. Like these small animations just... Taking the time to have it different for each thing that you're opening. I think that actually adds a lot. Shotgun rounds. I'm not going to grab the uh, the hammer. 
And garden soil. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Revolver ammo. Nice. Right, we got to get rid of something then. I'm going to sacrifice the 9 mil for the revolver ammo. So, switch to number three. Reload. Oh, yeah. We got our Rick Grimes on now. I think I see a baseball bat there, too. I'm going to leave that, though. I think we'll be good with the uh, with the axe. Can we? Yeah, we can pick them back up. All right, let's go outside. I'm going to put one round into that propane tank just to see what it does. <laughs> Stand back a little bit, I guess. Interesting. Didn't do anything. Oh, I really want to build these up. Okay, let's keep it moving then. I don't actually know how long we're going to be doing this. I think we'll break this up because if I take a look at almost everything in one episode, there's going to be so much for us to take in. So I think we'll do it in sections because I, I know that... The, whoa. Oh, he's changed the truck. Okay. What's it called? The Gorus. I don't know what that means. Is it actually the name of something? I do like that, though. Different model. Ooh. Oh, that is disgusting inside. That's... It's got some heavy wear on it. So, you got to be careful around these gas stations because we... Ooh, this is new, too. <laughs> You're going to hear me doing that a lot, guys. And I always say it. I'm sorry if it gets old quick. I'm so easily amused. I really am. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just going to use all of the coins, see if anything changes. Oh, wait. So it does give you different ones as well. I wonder if in time there's going to be different effects on the uh, on the food and stuff. I imagine there could be. I found a raincoat in here, by the way. It's just out there, but I wanted to waste the coins. Ooh. Shotgun ammunition and the M4A1. You guys already know I'm absolutely doing that. Let me get rid of them. I'm actually not using them up either. They're infinite right now. We can stack the shotgun. Another bandage, which we'll stack. The flashlight is really, really bright in the day, but you absolutely need it at night time, so I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I'm not really sure which one I want to fix up then, because we've got options now to actually fix up different vehicles. We're going to do the same for this? Yeah, we do. Although I feel like this is going to be really useful because of the way you can stack the, um, the lockers in the back. Oh, wait, that's changed too, though. I remember seeing there's, like, changes to... The, uh, the weapon lockers now. If you guys remember when we were knee deep into our series, you'll remember me saying that I would love some kind of weapons locker. And I believe they've actually added that now. Okay, so we can break up the TV. There's some bottles. There's a knife over there. There's some more areas that we can loot here. It feels like there's more areas to search through, which is nice. And still sleep in the beds too. Yeah, just the little things like the uh, the quality of life things. Ooh. So you can get stuck with things like that. I'm going to make a mental note of that because if you're running away from the infected and you're in a blind panic... Ooh, wait. Is that new? Something that you can chuck in the back of there. Oh, yeah. You can definitely do that. All right. So we uh, have the raincoat and equip. So I wonder if we're going to get too warm with this on now because I know that that kind of heat thing is uh, is definitely in play. But you got to watch your temperature. you got to watch how wet you get. Oh, there's another one of these. Yeah, I really love these small vehicles. As much as they're probably going to be a headache for storing things. Can we use them now? Oh, these are able to be used too. Wait, fill. Oh, that's how it works. So you find them and you fill them up with... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I love that. That is a really, really nice addition. So I wonder if we can, like, transport these. Oh, <laughs> should we test it? You guys thinking what I'm thinking? And that gets completely full. We're going to carry this and throw it. Got a hell of an arm on us. Look at that. <laughs> we don't need any weapons apart from melee stuff. The infected don't stand a chance. And no. Okay, let's get a bit closer then. Oh, it could be dead here, but... Oh, it does work. Okay. Well, that's what this is for. All the testing. There is wildlife around as well. I wonder if doing that stuff brings... Bring stuff in. Oh, wait a minute. Is this one... Oh, okay. So this one is actually too far gone. So it can only be broken down for scraps. Yeah, so that is going to be the case then. Certain ones you can find, which are uh, a better shape. And others you can't. So you can't just find... And maybe you can find different colors of vehicles. I would like that. Oh, is the mist rolling in? The mist is rolling in. Wait, can we climb up? Oh, no. <laughs> this is our first mist. 
Are we going to be able to fight them off? I don't think so. Oh, there's a door there too. Can't really climb on any of the buildings yet. Wait, can we, can we get up here? I wonder if there's been any addition of infected climbing yet. We're up though. On the golden gasoline service station. Modify, and then we want to add the sights. There we go. So that's the 256 scope that we found. Magnifier, we can change the stock. Target pointer, suppressors, the grip, and it actually gives you a different readout too. Can we move that around? It would be cool if you got like a little 3D view of that, but I'm not complaining. Ooh. Feels like home again. Look at them. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you look so much more real. That little, like, tiny tiptoe. Hold on a second. Let me fire one into your arm. Okay, so, oh, look at that with the hair. Oh, they look so, they look so much more feral now. I thought that was right in the dome. <laughs> Maybe not. We got no more rounds left. Wait, I think I got two rounds in the uh, M4A1. Just make sure I uh, put that back onto my hot bar. Here we go. Oh, I was on burst fire, so <laughs> I've gone through all my ammunition. Oh no, <laughs> I think we're all out. I need to find some more. Wait, that's 762. So that's for the hunting rifle. We've got the shotgun and the nine mil. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much out. <laughs> Look at that. It's just stood next to the tree. I don't know if that's actually part of what it's supposed to be doing, but it looks like... Oh, God, that movement. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. As much as this is creeping me out, this looks a million times better. Just aimlessly wandering around looking for flesh. Just realized as well, I got to search the, um, the glove boxes of the vehicles. That's where I'm going to find the map. So i got to find a pencil as well, right? So I can mark my location. I think I know where I am. But yeah, I need to find a map. Can we still sleep? I sleep for two hours. There we go. We slept the mist away. So it's good to know that you can still do that if you've not got like a, a huge collection of them in the area. We're completely dry on ammunition now. I should probably go this way just to be safe. Yeah, I've got to be honest as well. Things feel kind of smooth at this point. If this is like a precursor to what we're going to experience when the game goes into a more stable version, then that's going to be real nice. Is there any infected dead down there that I can maybe check what they had on them? Look at that. Even the water down there. And there's fishing in the game now, so we can do all of that business. Try and get us some food. Toolboxes have changed. We need to... Oh, there we go. Let me see how this works. Is it any wheel that can go in here, or are they different? Wait, they are different. So that one's smaller. So that one's for that car back there, and this one's for this. So carry this, and then install. Okay, so that's just how you do it. So you, you are going to need different types then. Let me have a look at this. I'm guessing that is for something like this, right? That, that looks, yeah, that definitely looks like it makes more sense. Okay, let's keep it moving then. Is this like the, the hotel resort? Ooh, it is. Ooh, okay. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that we can loot here. Although, these things could be inside now. Oh, there's a generator. So this is something new too. So fill up this with gas and then... Bonk that. And things will start firing up again. Ooh, I don't like that. That's wide open. We got to know though, right? We got to search it. Yeah, I felt like this stuff was on the opposite side. Yeah, I think that's been moved. This can actually be turned into a home as well. You've got to clear it out first. I think that should definitely be a thing, by the way. Wait, what? Wait, what? There's no way we can use this. If we get, like, power and, like, a grid going, can we power up, like, computers and things? Or is that just to be broken down? It's got to be from computer parts. Like, components. Have to know. Yeah, okay, so I'd love that idea too. Again, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. And there's the light switch, obviously, with the generator. If you get that going, I'm assuming that's how you get all that business working. But I mean, you guys know me by now. I kind of just, whatever's at the forefront of my mind for things that could be cool and 
an addition to the game. It's what I end up saying, but it doesn't mean that they have to add that at all. I'm not trying to influence anything. I would much rather go with what the devs have fully intended for this and see their plan come to fruition rather than them listen to me. Although it would be nice, like some quality of life things, if, if things are really broken. This all looks new. I'm pretty sure that we haven't seen this before, so I'm going to take it as it is. It's, it's all come along with this update. Look at that little area. Oh, there's going to be so many of you guys. <laughs> You're going to have some tea there, Fooster. It's a stupid meme. But yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing any of this. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going here. Okay. Don't want to get caught in anything that's happening here. Can we go around this side? Oh, God, no. Invisible wall. Worst enemy of all. Can we go around there? Oh, no. We stuck. Oh, God, no. Wait, please. There we go. Please wait to be seated. I'm going to be waiting forever. Oh, I thought the axe was something in there. Buy your Dreamland tickets here. Reminds me of something out of Zombieland. We'll catch up. See, things like that there. I feel like if you come into some of these buildings, you're going to get something sprinting out of you from rooms like that. So always be on your guard. <laughs> Is that soap on the floor? Can we take that? Wouldn't mind having some of that, to be honest. Keep things nice and clean. Keep fresh. Ooh, what's happened there? <laughs> the apocalypse really has taken hold. <laughs> the vending machines are merging together. AI is officially taking over, guys. There's nothing we can do. That actually terrifies me, by the way. It's a whole other topic, but I absolutely am terrified of that. I think there's things we can absolutely benefit from it, but... Yeah, I'm not going to go on a rant for that right now. Again, I say it so often, but it's so true. Like, when you make an area like this feel lived in, it really has such a difference. And there's no way I'm going in there. <laughs> Can you imagine the stuff that you'd get from swimming in that? All right, we got... Okay, so I think it has. I think the gas station used to be on this side. And then this kind of resort used to be over there, right? Paradise Hotel. Ooh. My heart just sank into the pit of my stomach because I've just remembered this. <laughs> this is the area where I sell that big old bear a lot. It's where it roams. Can we get over that? Nice. Anything on the uh, on the lounges? Some chips. Ooh. All right. So the weather's turned. So there we go. We've just seen it in the bottom right corner. There. We're now soaked. So I guess we've got to be careful of that. Our body temperatures are going to drop now. One of the things that I did say quite a lot was the addition of being able to have. Some kind of animation where you could knock on the side of a door frame to bring any of the infected out to you. Rather than going in there blind, you know, and not knowing what you're dealing with. I think that really would be cool. Again, though, just, just some random ideas. I do like this a lot, though. They've changed the resort from what it used to look like. So what about these vehicles, then? Are these... Okay, these actually don't look like they can be messed with. The rain just bouncing off it, too. Let's just replace this for a second. A little bit of ammunition. So you can find weapons in the uh, the police cars. Good to know. Nothing in the back. Oh, wait a second. We can actually fix this up and use this. Oh, that is 100% like a whole Rick Grimes thing, right? <laughs> Using the revolver. If you can find a cowboy hat in this, 100% we're doing that. All right, let's grab these. There we go. We've got the revolver too. Ready to go. Just need the cowboy hat now. We can fix this thing up. Then we are good to go. <laughs> I am liking this so far, though. There's a lot of really nice changes. And I've got a feeling there's a lot more, too. All right, what about this stuff? You guys already know. If we can fix this up, I am never driving anything else again. It's not that I've got, like, a preference of trucks over, uh, over cars or anything. It's just that in an apocalyptic scenario, especially if you can, like, hitch things up to the back of this. Oh, that would be so good. Got some lashing there as well. Even the box trucks, things like this, they'd be great to be able to fly around this world in. Probably don't want to fly around in it, though, because you'll be dead inside five minutes. Oh, there we go. All right, let's... No, it's probably going to waste a little bit of time, isn't it, fixing the vehicles up? There's something there. Whoa. Why does that sound suppressed? Look at that. Yeah, they look so much more savage now. 
trying to listen out in case there's another one just waiting for me to turn the corner. Could be something in that room. Let's not take any chances. See, I'm, I'm already in the mode where we're playing series style. <laughs> already getting immersed. Ooh, generator. Already getting immersed back into this world. And I shouldn't be yet. If this is your first time seeing mist... Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Some bandits over there, or at least one. This is your first time seeing mist. These guys do not mess around. You can kind of get them lined up if you're patient enough, but if you just go running in, more than likely, if you don't have any, like, body protection or anything like that, you are going to get ruined. So, I do want to take a shot, but at the same time, I also want to keep exploring. So, let's just go this way. We'll have time to, to have a fight with the bandits later on. What's this? See, they could have multiple areas, too. The last time I had a brush with these guys, they only had, like, specific spots. But maybe things have changed now. Ooh, what is this? Like a little... Oh. Is that a bear? I swear I just heard, like, heavy foot stomps. I'm a little bit on edge, too, purely because I have seen in the notes... They've either added or are adding a new type of infected, new kind of variants. One of them is called, I believe it's called the bloat or the bloater. And it's disgusting. It's like covered in these massive blisters and like pus coming out of it. So I wouldn't like really just to run into something like that right now. I'd love to see it, but <laughs> not get scared out of my mind from it. More propane. Can't fix this one up. Can we? No, nope, can't go in there. There's another generator there. I don't know if they can see the uh, the flashlight either, so I keep turning it off just in case. Whoa! So you can break this down too. Good to know. I feel like the mist is going to come creeping up on us any second now, so... I'm going to try and make this quick. More scrap. Is anything in the back? It'd be cool if there was, like, handcuffs or, like, evidence of, like, blood. A trail of that coming out the back there. I think that could be cool. Oh, there we go. Got a little shotgun. Wait. Is that the... The uh, over-under one? I think it might be. It's a really nice one, too. So we got another one of these. Oh, wait. Is this one specifically for lugs? Oh, maybe that one that we first found, then, might have the potential just to put some stuff in. I still think you have to find the uh, the backpacks, though, right? That's that's what we had to do last time in order to get more, more inventory space. Another apple. There's always time to, to grub out on an apple. Oh, you can fix this one up. I always like the look of these ones. What's this? Meat stew. Do we do it? Yeah, we do. I want to know if there's any effects. See, it doesn't look that bad there, but I don't think in an apocalyptic situation, unless things are very, very fresh and you can smell the heat coming off that, and even then, I wouldn't trust that not to be human parts, you know? Food's going to be really scarce in the apocalypse. Nothing in there. All right. Okay, there we go. Test branch. <laughs> but yeah, as I said at the beginning, guys, <laughs> test branch will always be test branch. So kind of expected there to be crashes. I will say that there was another one of those beautiful little cars over there. Look, I'll see if I can show you guys. Can you just see it in the trees, the yellow one? Inside of it was one of the backpacks to give us more inventory space. So it did open two slots. So good to know that you can actually find the backpacks inside. I can't remember if that was the case before, but... Can definitely do that now. What else can we find? Is this something? Ooh. So you can actually pick up a portable stove now. Again, I love the idea of that. More survivally things. Always time for an apple. <laughs> I always eat them. <laughs> always. I never just keep them with me. Little knife that we can use. Another axe. Chain for the chainsaw. Oh, also, I do remember seeing... That there's now a flamethrower in this. I believe so anyway. Either it's being worked on or it's in this. Again, like I said to you guys, I've kept a few of the things as a surprise. So I can discover them with you guys. But yeah, it's either being worked on or it's in the game now. So... Oh my god! Oh, I scared the shit out of me. Get up, get up, get up! Climb! Oh! Goddamn bear. My heart. You know what? 
Where you at, you shit? Take that. Oh, there he is. He's just through the trees as well. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm feeling my heart rate going now. Okay, so we got more things down there. More buildings that we can search through. There's definitely, like, cabins and stuff over there. And I saw the, uh, the bear with a cub going over that way, which is always heartbreaking. But at the end of the day, that's food. Oh, there they are. They're coming towards me. <laughs> okay, let's back up. But, guys, if you do want to see more of this, like, little sneak peek of things before we actually get into our series, then you know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to keep up to date with everything. And I'll see you all in the next one.